Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video guys, I want to show you how you guys can put a fish eye filter on your drawings so that it looks like you drew it with five point perspective. For those who don't know, five point perspective is basically this. Um, so you have five points. You start off by drawing this cross in the center. And so that first point in the center of the cross is um, your first point. And then you put uh, a vanishing point at the very top and one at the very bottom. And then one to the right and then one on the left. And so that it makes a grid that looks like a globe. Um, and so then if I were to want to draw a building in five point perspective, it would give it this uh, fisheye look. And so I would have to follow these uh, guidelines here. And so then these corners here would follow this guideline here or this perspective point. I'm not using a ruler, so it's kind of wonky. But either way, you get the idea. And so this would be a building in five point perspective. And it gives it that f uh, a fisheye look. So the street would actually, and it would disappear into that vanishing point. And also it would go down this way. So something like that. And that would be a building, and this is the street or whatever, the sidewalk, in a, in a five point perspective. But um, you can do that with your drawings without even drawing the five points. Um, here is a drawing that I did of a kid punching up upwards like an uppercut. And I drew some two objects here on the side of him. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put a, uh, I want to give this a kind of a fisheye kind of look. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm not using a ruler or anything, so this is not straight. And so it's going to be like one point here, uh, one point here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the software in Clip Studio Paint puts the other point right there. And so that um, it would create this uh, this fisheye look in this manner here. And then from here to here. Actually, it would probably this would be probably be the highest point and then it would start sloping down. In fact, we'll test it here in a minute when I draw a, I'm gonna draw a grid. In fact, I'll do that right now. Let's see if I can draw some straight lines here. Are we generally ready? You're not even space something, so we can see exactly what's going on. Then the filter uh, distorts the image. So you guys can see, you guys, you guys will see exactly what the software is doing. And we can make some adjustments to that. And so, uh, I'll show you real quick. Uh, now, I will say this, that the uh, fisheye filter does not work on multiple layers. Um, if you have a drawing and you have multiple layers, like your ink layer, your color layer, your highlights layer, and any other kind of layers you have, um, I would suggest make a copy of that, like put those layers into one folder, make a copy of the folder, and then collapse all the layers in the copy folder so that you have one layer because this filter only works on one layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, I'm going to, with this, with this uh, grid selected, I'm going to select um, filter up here in the um, menu bar and here where it says transform I'm going to select fisheye lens 
and immediately the the software puts the uh, the center the X, this red X here it puts it in the center of the canvas and what you can see here you can see now that the lines are are uh, um, bent so and then this um, slide bar here oh you want to make sure that this is selected apply to the whole layer and this will apply it evenly uh, however your um, your canvas is measured right now my canvas is a perfect square and so uh, it's distorting the area evenly um, if this was a rectangle or whatever it would distort it uh, proportionally to your canvas so and that's when you have this here selected apply to the whole width and then once once it's applied to the whole width you can um, play with this slide bar here and you can like really really distort it really bad um, and so you can see or you can as little as you want or as much as you want um, I think I want something like a maybe a 75 that looks that looks about right but you'll notice that if I move this um, center X here you'll see that yeah see how it kind of um, it bends here more than it does here because it's putting the center here so the, the one of the vanishing points is really close here and really far down here so that's why that's it's making that that leap so what I would suggest is um, before you warp anything in your drawing you want to in my opinion and I'm going to try this for the first time here is I'm going to put um, the focus point of my drawing I'm going to put it in the center of the canvas so before I do that let me get this color here let me find out where the center is exactly and this is a very crude it's not exact but so that's where I want to put wherever I want to fisheye my my drawing I want to put the center right there so I want it I want it to be his fist so that's gonna be like the biggest part so what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna I'm gonna move him my drawing his fist down here now what you'll see is that he kind of leaves the um, the canvas there um, so one thing I'm going to do is edit and I'm going to change the canvas size center now all I'm trying to do is get a get my entire picture in in the canvas and there we go that way uh, when I distort this picture it will look like um, It'll look like a perfect, uh, in fact, let me see if I can make this bigger so that we can see the whole thing. There we go. Oops, hold on, forgot this side. All right, okay. So now if I, if I distort this with the fisheye, filter, transform, fisheye, Yeah, now we can see that his fist, i that was pure luck. His fist is right there in the center. And he's got that distorted. And I think I wanted to do a little bit more than 70. You know what? Let's go crazy. Let's try it out. Let's try 80. <laughs> this might be too much. Uh, so 80 is, I think, what I want to do. So I'm going to hit cancel because that's not the layer that I want to distort. 
I want to actually distort the drawing. But before I do that, I want to preserve my original. So I'm going to copy, make a copy of that. Control, uh, Command C or Control C, and then Control V, Command V. Make one of those invisible. So now I have my drawing, um, and I'm going to make a cop uh, filter, and then transform and fish eye. And now it it looks like it's on his head, but I guarantee you that it's on his um, it's on his fist. Well actually I lied it's not why isn't it not in his fist well, let's just move it and see what happens Preview. okay so there it is he's distorted and let's pump it up a little too much 80 where's 80 oh there we go something like that So there is the drawing there. Now that I have it distorted, I'm going to again go to edit, change the canvas size. I don't need all this empty space. I'm going to change the canvas. Okay. So there it is. Uh, There it is, distorted and not distorted with the fisheye. So I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put them side by side. So something like that, and so you can kind of see the the difference, you know, from something like the first panel and then the second panel. And I'm sure if you if I'd have drawn some grids on the um, on the floor, like maybe it was a, a checkered uh, tile floor, it would probably look a little bit cooler. Or if you had some background or something. But so that's a really cool way you can uh, create a fisheye look on your comic book. So, anyways, yeah, that's the um, the fisheye filter for Clip Studio Paint. Um, I hope uh, you guys found this informative, and I hope you guys find find it helpful for when you create your comic books. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos like this. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how to do anything in Clip Studio Paint, make sure to leave a comment in any one of my videos, and I will... Uh, as soon as I see them, if I can't answer them in a comment, I'll try to make a video to explain how to do it, if I can. And, um, also, uh, I wanted to mention that, uh, I have some comic books, two, two comic books and digital on comics, all, not comics, all, comiccentral.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, from what I heard, they're closing down that website, so... Get them while you can. They're free. Uh, they're PDFs so that you can uh, look at those. I made those comics myself in Clip Studio Paint. And uh, yeah, those are for free so you guys can enjoy that. Again, the clip, the uh, link will be in the description below. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.